Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehan, and welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons Character Conversion. Today, I will be taking a look at another childhood favorite of mine, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. One of the many shows that kind of defined my childhood, mostly because I sort of related to Jimmy, much like I did with Downey Phantom or uh, Static Shock. We're going to start off with the, st with the stats by point by system. Strength is going to be 10. Jimmy isn't exactly strong, but he isn't weak either. So we're just going to give him a base 10. Dexterity is going to be a 13 because we are going to end up using some long range weaponry, like his blasters. Constitution is going to be a 13. He does have that big head. It's going to help him a little bit. Intelligence is going to be a 15. Speaking of his gigantic head, he has a high intelligence level. In fact, his IQ is way up there. Wisdom, however, is going to be a little bit low. He isn't exactly good with his words, which is why he also has such a low charisma score. He can't exactly be good with his deception or whatnot. He's, like I said, not good with his words. Much like myself. Let's go ahead and go with race, where you're going with the human variant. You'll get an ability score increase on your intelligence and your constitution for this one. Languages is going to be common in Elvish. Skill, go ahead and grab the perception skill. And feet, go ahead and grab the keen mind. You always know which way is north. You know how many hours are left until the next sunrise or sunset and you can accurately recall anything you have seen or heard within the last month. That is the most important part for Jimmy. That is basically his brain blast of sorts. All right, and thanks to the human variants, stat increases, we now have a 14 in constitution, and intelligence is now a 17, which is gonna be very important later. Background, go with the cloistered scholar background. You'll get skilled proficiencies in history and nature. Languages either go with Dwarvish or Deep Speech. Also grab the Gnomish feature. Deep Speech because... Well, technically that's more for the aberrations, which are kind of like aliens. And he has battled aliens before. So it would make sense to know their language. You also get the feature of Library Access. Characteristics, as always, I try to match the character's characteristics as closely as possible, and I think the Cloister Scholar's characteristics list perfectly matches Jimmy, especially these features. For your class, grab the next, the best class I have ever seen, the Artificer. The Artificer is more or less a tech cleric, and it is amazing. I love it. Although, thanks to their newest update with the Eberron rising from the last war, it kind of got uh, dimmed down, nerfed, let's go with nerfed. It got nerfed. I'm not too happy about that part. The Unearthed Arcana version was great, especially that gunsmith. I loved the Thunder Cannon. Unfortunately, we don't have that option here today. But the Artificer does get a 1d8 for a hit die. Your hit points are going to be 8 plus your constitution modifier, so you get a nice steady 10 hit points, which isn't bad. Hit points a higher level, 1d8 plus your constitution modifier per Artificer level. Proficiencies, light armor, medium armor, shields, simple weapons and crossbows, heavy crossbows, and also you do have firearms as a proficiency if firearms are available in your game. You also have the skill of magical tinkering, and you have spill casting. I put such emphasis on it because artificers don't actually cast spells. They create spell-like effects. For example, Acid Splash. Normally, you will be lobbing a ball of acid at your opponent. This is the spell's effect. 
However, with the Artificer, it only mimics that effect. So instead of lobbing a ball of acid, you will be lobbing a, let's say, a water balloon full of acid. Moving on, leveling up to level two, we have the infused item. This you get with this feature, you get to mimic one, a couple different magical items, which is going to be very handy. Leveling up to level three, we get the artificer specialist. I went with the battlesmith only because you get a steel defender. Basically, this is Godder, your robot dog sidekick. You also have the feature Battle Ready. Thanks to this, you'll have the tool, to, tool proficiency of Smith's tools. You also have the right tool for the job, which lets you create any tools you might need just with base materials you have on hand. They're not the best, and they won't last very long, but you will have them, and you will be proficient with them for the time you have them. Leveling up to level 4, we get an ability score improvement. If you want to take the ability score improvement with no feats, go ahead and grab the constitution and intelligence again. But if you do want to take a feat, go with the observant feat. This will increase your either your intelligence or wisdom by 1. Go with intelligence, definitely. And you will want to... It'll also give you the ability to read lips, which isn't that important, but you get a plus five bonus to your perception and investigation tech checks. Leveling up to level five, you'll get the extra attack thanks to the battlesmith, and you get some more battlesmith spells. Leveling up once more to level six, grab the tool expert expertise. So you get double proficiency with one of your tools. Leveling up again to level 7, you got the Flash of Genius, which is more or less Jimmy's Brain Blast, where he's able to know what he needs to know. Leveling up once more, we go to level 8. If you did not grab the Observant feature, go ahead and increase your Dexterity to a 14 and your Intelligence to a 19. If you did take the Observant feat, Grab your constitution and your intelligence both by one. Leveling up once more, we're going to go ahead and grab the rogue class. You'll get a 1d8 hit die, and you'll also get 1d8 plus constitution modifier for per rogue level in hit points. For proficiencies, grab the insight skill. You also get the ability expertise. This will double your proficiency in two of your skills. Go ahead and grab Investigation and Insight. You also have a Sneak Attack feature and the Thieves Cat, which is just a secret language. You know, like kids do. Alright, moving on. Leveling up to level 2 in Rogue, you get the Cunning Action. Leveling up once more to level 3 Rogue, you grab a new archetype. Go with the Inquisitive archetype. You get the Ear of Deceit. Eye for detail and insightful fighting, which are going to be very useful in combat. Leveling up once more to level 4. If you do not grab any feats, go ahead and grab dexterity and intelligence. If you did grab any feats, go ahead and grab the intelligence and increase it by 2, maxing it out to 20. Yes, it will max out. To 20, that's all, all your stats are going to max out, which is fine. But if you have certain magic items, or say you get a boon, you can increase it further. Alright, leveling up once more, go with the level 9 Artificer. You get an Arcane Jolt and some more Battlesmith spells. One more time in Artificer, we get the Magic Item Adept, which allows you to attune to more magic items then you should be able to. Leveling up once more, we'll get a level 5 rogue with the uncanny dodge feature, which is going to be very useful. Leveling up once more, we're going to Artificer, the spell storing item. Oh my goodness, is this spell good. Spell storing item. You can put one of your Artificer spells into an item so one of your colleagues can use that spell. All you have to do is give them that item you stored a spell in. It's 
perfect. Just love that you have it, sir. Leveling up once more, we're going to level six rogue. You get expertise once more. Go ahead and grab it for perception and history. Once more on the level up, go to level 12 artificer. Your ability score improvement is going to increase your dexterity and your constitution if you did not grab any feats. You'll now have 16 in both of those items. If you have taken a feat, go ahead and increase your dexterity to a 15. The reason why we are not taking any more feats is because nothing really matches. We've taken both of the good ones. Leveling up once more, go to level 7 rogue. This gives you evasion. Jimmy has the uncanny ability to dodge everything. Ray gun, boom, he dodges it. Falling rocks, he dodges it. That's why I chose the rogue, just for these dodging effects. And finally, go ahead and grab a 13th level artificer. Go get more Battlesmith spells. All right, now that we're done with that, let's talk about his equipment. Thanks to the Artificer, you will be getting a slew of items. And thanks to the Cloistered Scholar, you will get another slew of items. Some great items as well. Now, the Scholar's robes of your Cloister, just go ahead and say that's a lap coat. That's the best way I can think of using that. Some recommended items, go ahead and try to get some alchemist tools or some tinker's tools. That's going to be very useful in the future. So let me tell you what. Also, grab some acid flasks and some poisons. Doesn't matter what type of poison, just grab some. Now your spell effects. At first level, go ahead and grab the cantrips of firebolt and mending. Your first level spells are going to be catapult. Fairy Fire, and Feather Fall. Fairy Fire, you know, let's just say it's some goggles that can sense heat. Some heat vision goggles. That way you can actually see anybody in hiding, just like the spell does. Now at your 13th level artificer, it's going to have some fun ones, especially with flying. Fabricate is also very good, and Elemental Bane is the best I could work with. There are not too many spell effects that would really work. All right, and that's all the time I've got for you today, viewers. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment. And please tell me who you would like to see next. It has been very fun making these Nickelodeon characters into Dungeons & Dragons playable characters. Until next time, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.